Hello and welcome back to my channel. Channel name will be changing soon. I don't know what it's going to be. But this one is going to be about yarn. Hand spun yarn specifically and Angora yarn mostly. There are only two skeins here that do not have any Angora in them. That's these two right here. So one of the questions that my mother and I both get regularly is, oh, does she sell her yarn? And the answer is no, I don't. And a lot of people don't understand why I don't sell my yarn. And the simple answer is that in order to have a living wage made from this yarn, as in like bare minimum New York State $11.50 an hour, this skein right here, which I timed last night just to see how long it took me to process it, would cost you $50. From the time that the, the fiber is in the bag until it is turned into yarn was three hours and 10 minutes. I spent 35 minutes carding the fiber. I spent one hour and 30 minutes spinning the fiber. Uh, it took me 25 minutes to wind it. So what I do is I pick it before it goes on the cards. Anything that I see in the cards, I pull out then. Anything I see while I'm spinning, I pull out then. But sometimes things will end up in the fiber as I'm spinning it. And when I go through my singles, I'll pull most of the rest of it out then. There's a little bit that makes it through to the end of the finished fiber, but usually it's like two or three specks. But really, when I'm going through that single, that's when that takes time. So using a ball winder is not practical for this. So the winding took 25 minutes, the plying took 25 minutes. Gaining it took 10 minutes, because again I'm going through and making sure that there's no VM left in that fiber. Scouring took, it took longer than 5 minutes, but it was like actively 5 minutes of dunking it and you know active work on my part. So that comes to a total of 3 hours and 10 minutes to make 1.2 ounces of 100% English Angora yarn. So that would be approximately $35 at minimum wage, which is $11.50 an hour, okay? It takes three months to grow a coat. When you add in the feed, you're talking about another $7, so let's say that's $42. Um, price of listing and packaging is going to bring that up to about $50. And again, that doesn't count the rabbit's medical, it doesn't count business expenses, it's like nothing, okay? That's just what it would take for me to list this on Etsy and make minimum wage from it. That is why I do not sell my yarn. Um, this is gift territory. I don't mind this as a good gift for a family or friend. But to sell it, uh, in the average price of hand spun 100% Angora yarn on Etsy that I just, I sort of looked last night for the video, was about $20 per ounce. So this would be selling maybe at the most for like $25, which is half of what it actually costs me to make it. So that's why I don't sell my All right, so that was just pure Angora. And most of these are all pure Angora, except for the ones that you see that are dyed here. But let's talk about something that is made from material that I didn't have to process. Let's actually start with this one. This is all purchased fiber. It is BFL, Mohair, Alpaca, and Firestar. So I did the blend here, but the BFL... I want to say it was like $8, and I didn't use all of it in this particular skein. The mohair was about $5, and I did use all of it in this skein. The alpaca was $5.50, I used all of it in this skein. And the Firestar, minimal cost, because of course you only use a tiny bit of it, so we'll say a dollar. So that would be... This is a pretty expensive skein, and I'm thinking that whoever would be purchasing it would not even want to pay what it costs me in materials. 
and that does not account for my time, which was probably about three hours in terms of blending the fiber and spinning it and finishing it off. And my spins are also imperfect. Um, let's do a close up here. You can see that this, well, it's lovely. It's a beautiful three ply. It is not consistent. So let's look at these two right here. It's definitely not perfect. Okay, and when you're selling something to a customer, even if it is hand spun, a lot of times they're going to get upset if that's not perfect. And I can't, as a business, I couldn't take that hit. I don't have that kind of funds to, you know, refund something and then not have it come back to me. Like they get halfway through a project, they decide they want their money back on Etsy, I'm out that. Alpaca and silk, I got a silk lap, dyed silk lap from Camage Fiber Arts, totally awesome. Um... This is not a paid endorsement, I just like her stuff. And the alpacas from Wyangard Alpacas in, I believe they're in Penyan. Also totally awesome! <laughs> and, and I blended them together, and I really like how the, the fiber came out. But I paid $20 for a pound of the alpaca, and I don't recall how much the silk lap was. While this is a significant amount of chunky yarn, we aren't talking about a small amount of money. Um, I could not sell this for $10 a skein. That, um, the Chevio, I want to say was $12. The mohair blend was eight something. You know, we're, we're already priced out of what I could sell it for, not even accounting for my Angora or my time. One of the hurdles that many handcrafters face is can you sell this product for what it costs in materials? Can you sell this product and get paid? And my short answer is no. I cannot sell this product for what it costs in materials and I cannot sell it and get paid. It, it is just simply not possible when you would have to pay $50 for this for me to pay for my materials and get paid minimum wage. So thank you for watching and I hope that this was informative and not too discouraging for some of you and I really want to emphasize how much appreciation the entire crafting world has to have for people who put their work on the market knowing how long this takes me, how much my materials cost, and knowing that I'm actually not willing to part with it for less than what it's worth. And people do that all the time so that we can have wonderful handcrafted things to work with. So I just want to, I just want you to appreciate what people do for us.